Hello, this is Roger, Low Vision Product Manager here at Humanware. And today I'm going to show you how to transfer Prodigy files from an old Connect 12 or Mac Connect tablet to a new tablet or an upgraded tablet. Uh, so as you can see here, I have uh, my device turned on and in the stand. It doesn't have to be in the stand. It just happens that I have mine there. Um, and I have with me a USB-C to USB-A cable that I'm going to use for this process. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the C end and come to the C port on the side of my tablet and plug that in. Um, and then I'm going to take the A USB and plug that into my computer uh, to my right over here. And you won't hear the sound, but it did just connect to my computer. And on my computer screen, I can see that uh, my device has been in fact identified. Here it's showing the internal storage of my Connect device. I am going to go ahead and double click on that open it up and you will see a number of files inside. The files that you're really going to want to be looking for are in the Prodigy folder located over here. We'll double click on that. Inside this folder, you'll see a series of folders, books, distance, images, notes, share, and text. All of these can be copied with the exception of the books folder. This folder cannot be copied because these are downloaded books from Bookshare that have digital rights management associated with them. And those digital rights are device specific. So they remain locked to your older device. They, so therefore you cannot copy them from one device to another. And this is just to protect the rights of the books. However, the remaining folders can all be copied. So I am going to click on one and then use my control button uh, at the same time so that I can multiply click and select. In this case, I am going to select the remaining five folders except for books. I can copy these in any way that's most comfortable for me. So over to the right uh, of my screen, there is a copy option uh, that I could utilize right up here. Or alternatively, I can use a control C on my keyboard or I can right click which I've just done now, and click on the copy option that appears. So I've now copied these files. I'm going to minimize my device and create a folder by right-clicking on my desktop and come down to New, choose Folder, and I will create this folder with the name File Transfer. You can name it whatever you'd like. So now we've created our folder. I'll double-click on that. And now I have an option in the upper right here that you can see to go ahead and paste items over. I can click there. I can use a control V in the white space or I can use a right click and paste as well. So any of your copy paste methods are gonna work here. So we'll go ahead and tap paste and you'll see that it's going to take some time for this to, to happen. There's quite a few files in there. So we'll just let that happen right now. Okay, so the whole process took less than one minute and you can see that each of the folders has appeared as they've been copied over. Uh, so I now have a folder full of files from my old device. I'm gonna to go to the upper right of my screen here and close this folder out for the time being and leave it on my desktop. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my Connect 12 in this case, or my Mac Connect from my computer and from the tablet. And then uh, in this case, again, I've got mine in the stand. So I will remove my tablet from the stand, set that one aside and bring my other tablet and place that into my stand. Um, let's go ahead and use our four or five finger press here to get out to the Android world. And now I will go ahead and reconnect with my USB-C, place my USB-A into my computer. And over here, you can see uh, it was recognized and connected to my device. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and swipe up now 
go into my settings. This is something that you have to do in Android 12. Um, and you can see connected devices here. I'll click on that. Um, and you can see USB uh, is currently, it's a charging port. So we'll tap on that and let's scroll down. And here, here we go. So we're gonna use the USB now uh, for file transfer. So let's tap there. And uh, I just heard the sound that says, hey, there's something connected to my computer. So let's move back over to our computer screen and see if we can find that device. I'm going to double click down here in my taskbar on the file to get to my file explorer. It's opened up on my second monitor here. And there is a menu on the left here that I'm going to scroll down through and see if we see our device. And there it is, this PC, Connect 12 V2 right there. So I've opened it up. That should look familiar right there. Uh, internal shared storage, just what we were seeing on the other device. So let's double click on that. And here is a list of file folders that are on here. And there's Prodigy. And this is a, uh, a new device, a relatively new device, so there's nothing in there. Uh, but to the right here, here's my files for transfer. So let's open that up and we'll slide it to the side here. So you can see, okay, so here's my new device, Connect 12, and to the right, here's my old device. I'm just gonna go ahead and multiply select each of these, click the first one, come down to the last one. Uh, we'll just control click on each of them to select them all at once. And here again, you can use the copy option up here. You can use Control V. Uh, you can use uh, right click and copy, or if you prefer, you can just drag and drop them from one device to the other. Now you're going to see it already exists. Uh, because I know these are empty on my new device, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, do you still want to merge these? I'm gonna say, uh, do this for all items and we'll click yes. And everything is now going to begin the process of copying over from one uh, folder onto the new device. Okay, so that process took a little bit longer on the order of about three minutes to get everything copied over, but you can see now uh, up here that uh, all of the folders are there and the folders that pre-existed, things were pasted into them as appropriate there. Um, so now uh, we can actually come back down here. I'm going to go, uh, let's actually come back up here real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and close both of these folders out um, on my screen here. And then I will come down below and I will go ahead and disconnect from my computer, disconnect from my tablet. And let's take a look back at our tablet. I'll press my home button on the tablet. And now I am back into Prodigy. Uh, let's take a look in our gallery here and see what's there. Oh, look at that. There are a bunch of full files in there now. Uh, let's go over and see if we had any text in here. Nope, text was empty. Uh, let's see about notes. No, well, there was no uh, a blank note that's been copied over. Um, let's see what's on our distance camera. Oh, so there's a picture of my puppy, uh, Wiley. So everything appears to have been copied over nicely. We can go back out into Android if we want to. Um, so there we go. We've made a good copy from an older Connect 12 or Mac Connect tablet to a new Mac Connect or Connect 12 tablet. I hope that this video is very helpful to you. Uh, please let us know uh, through comments and or message us and certainly let us know about ideas to do things better and improve our products uh, to meet the needs of those with low vision. Thank you very much.